I can hear you. Oh, okay. Or the OBS side. Ooh, what's that? You have a live switcher? Ah. Oh. Okay. What is going on, everybody? Welcome to another Angel Raiders podcast, a podcast where we highlight a different member from the Angel Raiders each and every week, uh, and which anybody in our group could be on. So if you'd like to be on the Angel Raiders podcast, uh, shoot us a message and uh, we'll get you on here one of these times. Hey, tonight we have an awesome guest with us. Her name is Aurelia Borealis, and uh, let's welcome her to the stream how you doing tonight? I'm doing awesome. How are you doing? Oh, pretty awesome myself. Uh, so why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Just get us started here and where are you oh, from sure. and whatever. Uh, okay. Well, I'm Aurelia Borealis. Uh, you can call me Aurelia. Some of my friends call me Ari. It's whatever is comfortable with you guys. Um, I, you know, do Twitch, and I also am a uh, amateur cosplayer, and I love anything that is anything nerdy. If you hadn't noticed from everything behind me, and basically everything that I wear, you do Twitch. What? Yeah, yeah. Surprising, right? <laughs> right? Uh, how'd you get How'd you get started in that? Um, I actually had a friend of mine who introduced it to me. Um, we were thinking of doing episodes of. Uh, me doing a blind play of uh, Shovel Knight, and unfortunately he had to uh, move away for some work-related reasons, but after that I just kind of caught the bug a little bit and decided that I was going to strike out on my own and start my own content. Yeah. There's something about Twitch that just, like, keeps bringing you back. Yeah, it's like, you know, you always, like, interact with new people every day. You never know who you're going to interact with, so it's it's always fun trying to, like, reach out to other people yeah we left out that we're awesome apparently oh <laughs> no wait that's tabasco kitten hey welcome everybody in chat as you uh as we're talking today if you have a uh question that you would love to have uh answered on the podcast live for everyone uh go ahead and throw it in there and if we see it we'll get around to it and uh are you watching too yeah she says yes so uh <laughs> We'll get to those as well. Uh, yeah, the there's that. Uh, would you say you're like an introvert or an extrovert? 
I would definitely say that uh, I'm an extrovert. Mm. I am the oldest of four kids in an Italian house. There was no way I wasn't going to turn into an extrovert. <laughs> right. The Italians, they use their hands a lot, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's where my expressiveness comes from. Right, right. I, I have, my great grandma was Italian. And uh, so, yeah, family get togethers were loud. <laughs> and there was always a lot of food. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. So I guess with the uh, with Twitch for for us that are more extroverts, there's like something that keeps pulling you back to it and like, oh, people. Okay. Yeah. Oh my God, more people <laughs> and new people too. Yeah. I feel like, um, oh, what is that? Uh, the dog from uh, the movie Up, where he's like, oh, oh squirrel, God. squirrel. Yeah. <laughs> I was hiding under your porch because I love you. Yeah, I feel like that all the time. Like, oh, people. <laughs> yes. Oh, more people. This is the greatest day of my life. Yeah. So uh, what are you streaming right now? Uh, right now, I am streaming uh, part three of the... The official title is Shin Megami Tensei Persona 3, <laughs> yeah. which is a very, very long very long series that started in the 90s with a uh, point and click adventure with uh with magic and teenagers and it slowly turned into like slice of life rpg with teenagers with magical powers so okay. it's a it's a really fun ride but because i'm playing a uh, almost was it 13 year old game it's definitely shown its age and i like seeing how uh, how far they've come from like their first original conception of the game and like just polished it all the way up to five which came out a couple years ago mm -hmm. 2016 2017 okay something like that and just how everything culminated into like this really cool style and um i guess like really awesome like storytelling awesome awesome yeah. sorry uh, so do you have you You've played all the way through five as well? I have. I'm, yeah. I'm on my third playthrough right now. Holy cannoli. Yeah. <laughs> That's uh, awesome. So, some would say I really like that game. Yeah. Would, is that your favorite series or do you have a favorite um, series? It's slowly becoming a favorite, but it's kind of a tie between that and the, uh, the Mass Effect series. Oh, yeah. Just because I absolutely love anything science fiction. And when that game came out and the first time I got to play it, it was very, um, it was very, like, taste altering. Like, I kind of got, a, like, that feeling of, like, what it was to play a Mass Effect game. And I was mm -hmm. just like, this is it. This game is, like, a masterpiece. I love it. I think I've been living a sheltered life because I haven't played Mass Effect either. Have you played Dragon Age? No. Oh, no. <laughs> um, it's, it's funny because Dragon Age players will be like, it's Dragon Age in space, and Mass right. Effect players will be like, it's Mass Effect, but in medieval time for Dragon I gotcha. Age. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I've, uh, I might have caught one or two streams of people playing Mass Effect, but I've never played it myself. Yeah, it's, uh, it's great because at least with... Um, Minus the end of, like, the third game at the end of the trilogy, you really feel like your choices in the game actually have weight to them. Okay. So it's just, it feels very, um, it feels very interactive, and it feels like your choices are a lot harder to make because you have to be really careful how you want things to play out. Sure, sure. Drac G keeps telling me, uh, or telling us to, telling you to tell me about Smash. Oh yeah, it's um, it's about uh, Smash Bros. Drac um, has a Discord where he um, he actually hosts uh, Smash Ultimate tournaments. Really? Yeah. Smash Ultimate tournaments. Uh, if you want, Drac, you can put uh, a link there if it'll let you, because. Uh, I know a lot of people that are Smash players, and uh, if you host tournaments, I will send people your way. Yeah, it also, I think he does o uh, some of the OG Smashes, so if you play on GameCube, like, if you Ooh, play on yeah. um, some of the older ones, you can play on that, too. Cool. I'm making a note for myself here, just so I don't forget. I'm old school. Paper. <laughs> hey, sometimes paper works. Yep. Uh... uh are you a dog or a cat person? Ooh, I 
It's hard to say because when I first started getting pets, I started getting dogs and I absolutely love dogs because I can match their energy level, but I'm slowly starting to understand why people love cats so much. Uh-huh. Because I've had my cat for about 10 years now, and she is uh, she is my precious little bean. I love her. Yeah, what kind of what kind of cat is it? Do you know? Is it um, we don't really know. Yeah. She's kind of, she was like accidentally born on a farm. Like one of the farm cats got pregnant. Sure. And they were like, hey, we can't even give these cats away. Like, can you please come take one? So yeah, that's that's what I ended up doing. Yep, that's perfect. Mm-hmm. We got, uh, my cats are, I, so I don't have a lock on my door. So mm-hmm. It just pushes open to my office. Okay. I have like double doors and if you push on it, they... And my cats uh, try and get in all the time, so I put my backpack in front of it to keep them from pushing in and out. But I That's see their cute. little paws coming, like, just let Through me the... in. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. We, my, uh, uh, my cat will, she won't do any of that. She finds a closed door, and she will just meow as loud as she can until you get annoyed with her. Yeah, probably a better strategy if you really want in. Mine just sit there yeah. and look at like, yeah. <laughs> so you, uh, you mentioned you do some cosplay. Yes, I do. Ooh, tell me about that. Tell oh, us sure. all. Yeah, so I mean, um, cosplay is another huge part of my life. It's just another extension of enjoying the things that I love so much. So basically, like, you know, for me, it's all about um, learning how to do new things. It's learning how to sew, how to make props, and how to actually don all of these elements and kind of just embrace the character or embrace the franchise that I'm doing uh, cosplay for. So uh, what what characters have you done so far? Oh, um, funny that you mentioned because I have done this character right here. His wow. name is Joseph Joestar. He is from the, um, the anime and manga series JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, mm-hmm. which has been around since about the mid-80s. And okay. it's just recently getting a bunch of anime series now, so it's starting to get really popular. Nice. Mm-hmm. Have you done but any others? Other than that, like I've done, not done too many cosplays. Like I've done the uh, the major from the Ghost in the Shell series or the, the original Ghost in the Shell movie. Okay. And what else have I cosplayed? I cosplayed uh, Ryuji from Persona Five in his Phantom Thief outfit. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. Mm-hmm. I, I was just thinking, because er, earlier I told you I had no concept for cosplay. Not no concept, right. but I, I know what it is, but I never mm-hmm. had really done anything. And as I was thinking back, I was like, wait, I have. I used to play in a band, and we played at a bar, and on Halloween I did, and I'm forgetting the guy's name, um, the lead character from Tales of Symphonia. Ooh, uh, um... I cannot I don't remember, remember that specifically because I haven't played many of the Tales games, but yeah. I've heard that it's an awesome series. Yeah, it, he was really easy. Blue mm-hmm. pants and a couple of swords at the at the hip, and like a red <laughs> button up shirt and boots that were pretty high. And so yeah. I remember doing that at a bar for Lloyd. Yeah, dude, Lloyd. I I think that's right. Oh my gosh! What's, uh, what's hilarious is like that description that you just mentioned could also kind of also apply to full metal alchemist yep yep. which i can totally see you dressing up as because it's just a really snappy blue suit with boots yep yep and clean haircuts yep and like just (laughs) like up up a little bit more yeah and uh yeah that was fun it was a good time Mm -hmm. but nobody else got it because we were playing at a bar in the middle of um like just outside of sacramento and oh, okay. uh, middle of the city, and they're like, yeah, okay, this kid's nuts. <laughs> but that's what we do. Hey, but so, you had fun. That's the important thing. Exactly. I had a lot of fun, and no one got it. And I was like, yeah, it's all right. I'm on my own little island. Mm-hmm. Is, there a, is there a big community for cosplay where, where you're at? Oh, yeah. There's a really, uh, there's a really large community here. We have um, this uh, annual convention that happens every year called uh, Anime North. It happens at the end of May in Toronto at, a, um, at the Congress Center. And it's, um, it's probably one of the larger conventions that we have here. And it actually is like a really good resource for meeting um, really awesome influencers and um, 
you know, very seasoned cosplayers who can act, who run panels to kind of teach you how they go about like making their costumes or adding elements like, you know, putting lights into clothing or how to 3D print for cosplay and a whole mm. bunch of like resources that uh, you normally wouldn't have access to or it would take a lot of digging to find. And sure. it just all culminates into one weekend. Oh, that's nice. So you learn a lot of skills while you're there as well as meeting different people. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. I just met a new group of friends through um, through the JoJo fandom recently. And we've done a bunch of uh, promotional photo shoots. And we are actually going to be featured for a new upcoming, uh, like new upstarting um, convention that's happening in September. Okay. And they're giving us like free passes, a full panel, and a uh, feature spot in a uh, cosplay fashion runway during the uh, during the weekend. Oh, that's awesome! Yeah. So, do you um, also produce uh, or uh, do like commission work? I um, I don't normally, but um, funny enough, I actually did get my first um, request for a commission this year. Because this year I went as, um, to, to answer Sidescape's question of the last cosplay character I've done. Um, besides doing Joseph, which I do every year, I did uh, a female version of Gladiolus from Final Fantasy XV. Okay. And it was the first time I'd ever worked with fake leather. And holy, it was such a challenge, but I'm so happy with how it turned out. And apparently... This one girl that I knew through a mutual friend appreciated my work as well and wanted me to help her. She wants to go as a character from Game of Thrones. Oh, so yeah. she wants help kind of figuring out how to make this particular vest piece. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So are you going to, you're just going to help her? To, like, yeah, teach well, her? I mean, like... instead of like commissioning it and uh, just making it on my own, I would prefer to make it into kind of a, uh, sort of teachable moment I would prefer yeah. to pass on my knowledge as opposed to just keep it all to myself and kind of like gatekeep a little bit I would sure. rather cosplay is about sharing and opening up the community I would rather foster that by passing my knowledge on to someone who may be younger or may need some help at for a starting point yeah Absolutely. So, you, and by doing that, you're just making the community bigger because you're opening up access to more people. Exactly. Exactly. Um, Stubborn asked if Ari has a Twitter. I do have a Twitter. Plug away. Um, <laughs> yeah. So my Twitter is uh, it's the same as my uh, it's the same as my game handle Aurelia Borealis. However. Somebody took that name from me, so oh. I ended up having to change the I in Borealis into a one. So uh. if you want to find me, this is what my Twitter handle looks like. I'll put it in the, the chat area. It looks like that if you would like to see my Twitter. Or if you want I'm to put... not super active on there, but I do my best. <laughs> if you want to put your Insta in there too, you're welcome to do that. Oh, sure. I can do that. Then, then people can go check out all your cosplay stuff that you're doing all the time. Yes, absolutely. Yes. Okay, hold on. I'm going to... And you can follow her on Twitch with the uh, the nameplate that's right there in the thing. Oops, in in the thing. There. That was that was good speech. In the thing. Yeah. Jigsaw is asking where I'm from. I am from Canada. Eh? Right? Does everyone do that? Not really. <laughs> no. Not everyone. No. I know that, like, I'm kind of, like, a weird exception because I have family in uh, the U.S. Okay. Um, she lived in Phoenix for most of her life. So I kind of, I have, like, these idiosyncrasies from both countries. So sometimes I'll slip an A up here and there mm -hmm. just randomly. Um, or, but I'll still say words like, like, Y'all say restroom as opposed to bathroom or washroom, uh -huh. and I tend to I tend to lean on the side of restroom as opposed to the other. So okay. it's just small things. Yeah, if I had to guess though, I would have thought you were from Wisconsin. Really? Yeah, I don't know why. Maybe it's because I live close to Wisconsin and I meet people from there all the time. I don't know. Just, oh, okay. <laughs> you can just ignore that whole statement. We'll cut it out in the in the video on demand and just move on. <laughs> Uh, yes. Uh, are you going to Evo this year? Ooh, actually, 
actually, let me take a look because I am bad with accuracy. So I would like to see what Evo is. Oh, yeah, you looked that up. And I'm going to say this. Uh, Delta Violet and Mad Hazy, thank you for the follows. Uh, oh, yes, thank you. Yeah, thanks for coming in and, and hanging out with us for a little bit. And uh, this is this is our Angel Raiders podcast. If, uh, I think we have a panel. You know what? I don't know anything about this uh, Twitter uh, or this uh, dashboard here. I think we have a uh, Angel Raiders panel in the thing, but if not, um, maybe uh, Stubborn Mermaid can throw a link up to the Angel Raiders in chat as well. Um, we're a streaming community, and we help other streamers, and we highlight other streamers, and we help everyone meet each other's goals, and uh, pretty much, we're just awesome. Yeah, I would say we're pretty awesome. <laughs> all right, I mean, that's why we do this, because we get to meet all these new people. Sorry, Drac, I couldn't find any information on what EVO is, so you might have to elaborate, but I know for a fact if um, if you're interested in what conventions I'm actually going to be go uh, going to next, I'm actually going to um, this one in uh, Hamilton, on Ontario, called Com Bravo at the end of July, and I'm also going to Otakuthon, which is another yearly one that happens in Montreal. Ooh. Yeah. How far is Montreal from... from uh... Toronto there. Well, from Toronto, it's about a five-hour drive, something oh, like that. Yeah. It's not too bad. Um, the other thing I could do instead as well is I can take the train. That's okay. another thing I can do as well. And it's about the same time. Do, do they have a pretty good train system out there? It's not bad. I mean, like, you know, it could be. It's, you know, I'm spoiled because once I experience the train system in Japan, there's nothing else that compares ever. Yeah. So... I like everything else just kind of feels not as good. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, we, uh, my family here, we hosted um, a couple of Japanese exchange students and, oh yeah. uh, and so we get a lot of information that way, but, uh, oh, I've yeah. never, I've never gone over the other direction. What? It's, uh, it's definitely, it's definitely worthwhile. And I will say I lived there for six months and it was not enough time to see everything that I wanted to see. Oh, so you lived over there for six months. Were you a, like an exchange student, or? I was. Yeah, I was. Uh, I was fifteen, so that was about half my lifetime ago. Yeah, wow. <laughs> and was that? I mean, obviously, it was a good experience. You, did you? Oh yeah, absolutely. I was. Uh, it definitely made me into who I was today. Like I was a very, uh, I was a very shy and uh, not confident individual before, but yeah. now I'm just. I'm here, I'm loud, and I'm not sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love your personality. It just bursts out of the screen. So. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so I actually have a lot of questions about your, your time in, in Japan. Um, yeah, okay. You stayed with a host family, I'm, I'm guessing? I did, yes. Do you speak Japanese? Uh, yes, I do. Did you when you went the first time? Uh, yeah, I actually took Japanese in high school as opposed to uh, French because as soon as eighth grade came and I found out that I didn't have to learn French anymore, I leaped on the next possible opportunity. Okay, yeah. And so so you went over there, you, you learned Japanese and, mm -hmm. and you stayed for six months. Yeah. What, uh, what were some of the things that you remember? What was the best parts about it? And, uh... Um... The best parts about it, I would just say that generally, um, generally I enjoyed um, just how um, how like polite and how responsible everything feels there. Like everyone, because the big the, the big difference between say like a Western culture like ours and an Eastern culture like theirs is that it's uh, it's very much um, about community mm -hmm. and about what how you impact others mm -hmm. so no one wants to do anything that would impede the enjoyment of the public space mm -hmm. so that's why there's very strict like you know you do not use your phone when you're on the train um even though there's a very uh, very distinct lack of uh garbage bins on the street there is no garbage anywhere, no cigarette butts, no nothing. Like everything is very clean. Everyone, you know, kind of just carries their garbage with them until they can dispose of it. Mm -hmm. um, no one talks overtly 
loud or you know obnoxious everyone is very um self-aware about how they present themselves in public yeah. and just politeness in, just to anyone in general is always like the cardinal rule mm-hmm. and that's something that i enjoyed a lot yeah yes i get that oh they're saying that we need to have an angel raiders con oh yeah road trip that absolutely would, that would be an interesting thing if we did one of those I wonder where we'd have to have it because we have people all over. Well, I mean, from all the way from the UK. Uh, Mm -hmm. Oh man, we have a guy over like in the Middle East. Uh, Yeah, we've got people from everywhere. Like we recently got a a uh, a raider from Vietnam as well. Really? And Malaysia. Wow. Yeah, there's there's a whole bunch of people from all walks of life coming in too. So that's really exciting. C. Pyro says, we have a lot of newer streamers looking for advice. If you have to give one piece of advice to a newer streamer, what would that be? Uh, my advice for a newer streamer is don't get discouraged. Mm-hmm. Um, because I know for a fact that it is very easy to feel discouraged when it feels like nobody is watching. And you see those numbers kind of just being very on like the lower end of the spectrum. And it can feel like you're just kind of shouting into a void Mm -hmm. and just hoping that someone listens but you know just keep being yourself keep doing you don't try and like you know force anything keep it organic and like you know just keep trying because you know that's the only thing that's going to guarantee that you know you're going to have people come to you just people will find you just you know don't be sad if you know you have 50 viewers on one and you have two on another you know you just just keep going yep yep and be you do yourself because if you're trying to be someone else uh eventually like or or you can do a character or whatnot but um do what whatever makes you unique do that don't try and do something that's not who you are exactly because it's hard it's hard to keep up if you do that Mm mm-hmm absolutely that's good good stuff um jigsaw asks how many months have you been streaming i uh i've actually been streaming for about a uh a year and a half authentic is the right word yes yeah yeah um yes so i have been streaming for about a year and a half and that's also part of the reason why i say don't get discouraged because that first year was probably the roughest for me because i was getting no traction it was uh it was very disheartening but i still i still kept going yeah what was the breaking point for you like how did you where did you get to the point where you're like okay i'm hitting my groove and things are going normal yeah Um, i um i started kind of telling uh because before i was i was very much um I was very much in my head of like, I'm going to do this. I'm going to set out on my own. This is my thing. I'm going to do it. But, Mm -hmm. um, you know, if you go out and you don't advertise yourself, um, it's hard to get that viewership. So I started small. I started saying, hey, to like to my friends and like nearby people, I said, hey, I um, I'm starting to do like a live thing. Like, you know, even if you can't stay for a while, like, you know, maybe just keep my channel on, say hi. I would really appreciate it Mm -hmm. and I slowly would branch out of that it also helps a lot that I go to conventions because people will ask me you organically like what you do and a lot of the time I would put that I'm a twitch streamer up front first because then that sparks the conversation so always try and like you know try and bring it up and be like hey like you know just so you guys know I do this for you know I do this in my spare time like come and hang out with me like we'll have a good time and you find other people that connect with your interests and you kind of build, start to build a community that's like you, people that like you. and Exactly, yeah. exactly. And um, the Persona series is a very niche market, so a lot of people that are looking for that content will find you. And that's where a lot of my, um, that's where a lot of my like, uh, people that have been with me fr- in like the early days came from, is they saw me doing Persona and I was one of the few people doing it. So they were very like, Oh yes, we have a, a person who's streaming Persona who like we can talk to. Like let's let's talk about it. Right, right. 
I think I missed it earlier. Sidescape asked you how your uh, Twitch name or how your name was created. Oh, so um, the way my name was created is that it's actually kind of, it's kind of a personal inside joke to myself because uh, growing up, not a lot of people were able to say my name correctly. So for me, I would get things like Ariel, Aurora, hmm. uh, you know, uh, just everything you can think of that's bad and just a not the not the correct pronunciation. I've probably right. heard it at some point in my life. So a lot of so, considering the fact that I was called Aurora so often, I paired it with Borealis because it's kind of like a really bad dad joke to myself. <laughs> yep. There you go for Father's Day. Yeah, there bad, you go. <laughs> bad dad jokes. Um, just scanning over here. I don't like follow for follow because it doesn't work. I agree. Precisely. Dad jokes. <laughs> oh, you don't want to hear my dad jokes. Yeah, it's okay. It's not yeah. as bad as my dad joke about paper. Oh, now you got to tell it. I can't tell you it. It's terrible. <laughs> it's terrible about parable. Terrible. Got it. Got it. That is terrible. <laughs> Took me just like one second. <laughs> it's, it's, the, it's the pause and then the realization. I'm going to drink some dad's cream soda for that. Beautiful. <laughs> uh, I have run out of my tea, but uh, we'll, yeah. we'll get some more later. Mmm. Well, is there anything else that you want to plug or talk about while we're hanging out for a few more minutes? Um, well, I will maybe mention uh, that I do, uh, if you guys, if any of y'all are following me on Instagram, I actually have a new project coming up recently. Mm. Uh, I'm going to be cosplaying as uh, a character called Guido Mista from the part five section of the JoJo fandom. If any of y'all know who Guido is. He is a, a really funny character who uh, probably doesn't bathe as often as we should. But uh, <laughs> he's got a really, uh, he's got a really funny sense of humor. And uh, he also wears like the most fashionable tiger print pants I have ever seen. Well, that's the whole reason you got to do it just yeah. for that. So are you how deep are you going to go into this character? Are you going to uh, quit bathing before or <laughs> oh, oh, maybe not? I, mean, I, I might not go that meta. Right. I might just uh, I might just look the part. Yeah, there you go. That's probably better. Why is everyone standing so far away? I look so good right now. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> oh, stubborn mermaid. What's your favorite game to play? Oh, my favorite game to play? Yeah. Uh, right now, I, uh, my favorite game to play... Um, I like to play uh, Stardew Valley with my friend uh, Panda, who is a, a regular on my Stardew Sunday streams, which are like my chill, relaxed day streams. Mm -hmm. But uh, she's definitely a lot more um, into that game than I am. She's clocked over 550 hours in that game. Oh, wow. With, uh, against my paltry 30. <laughs> So she's uh, she knows everything, and I'm pretty sure she's romanced everyone in that village. So she's uh, she knows some stuff. She knows but, some uh, stuff. She's seen yeah, some no. things. She's seen some things, but I mean, <laughs> I would I would probably say that Persona is my favorite game to play, just because the story is so immersive, and I kind of connect with the, with the story um, on like a personal level, especially with four and five, because they they hit a lot of like the deeper like friendship notes and the struggles of like you know being an authentic person sure so it's very, yeah you know it's very much like it, it hits close to home and it makes it gives you that feel good that it feels like friends just talking to each other okay and like it sucks you right into it you're part of it, it really does yeah. because like you like a part of the game is like just talking to your uh your party members and like your friends that are around you and you slowly help them grow into better people while also kind of growing with them, so. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, just like real life. Exactly. I was at. Exactly. I was at um, uh, that not Chinese Chinese place, um, Panda Express. Oh yes. <laughs> um, 
and uh, we ordered some noodles the other day, and the person behind the, the counter was like, I'm going to go home and play Persona for the rest of the night. Mm-hmm. And and I at the time, I had no idea what the game was, so I had to go and look it up, and then I spent the, like the next two days watching streams of Persona 5. Yeah. So, it's yeah. uh it's a really uh it's a really solid game if you want to get into a, a turn-based RPG that is yeah. just so stylish. Like yeah. they really hit pay dirt with the uh with the style in that game. It's just it's so good. <laughs> it's so good. So that that would be you know your favorite games. Mhm. How about childhood favorites? Ooh, that's uh that's a tough one for me. Because um, I remember growing up, uh, my dad was obsessed with uh, with the uh, Super Nintendo. Mm-hmm. So one of my favorites, you know, before I had object permanence sort of games, was probably Duck Hunt and playing Mario before, you know, I knew what I was doing. But mm-hmm. if I had to pick, like, iconic childhood games, it was kind of a toss-up between... Um, I would say uh, Donkey Kong 64 hmm. and uh, Sonic the Hedgehog. Both solid games. Very solid games. And and just DK64 at the time was so, uh, it was so huge. And Rare was just making all these like amazing games. And that one just really, really stood out for me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Did you see they re-released uh, Sonic on PlayStation Plus this month? They... Yes, like Sonic Collections, I think is what they're calling it. I'm going to have to uh, take a look at that because I have Sonic Mania on my Switch, which I haven't touched in a while, but I definitely, Mania. any t- a chance I have to like leap at uh, old school Sonic games, I will do it. It might be Mania now that I'm thinking about it. Yeah, ch- check it out because uh, I can't pull it up right now. Otherwise, it will block your face out. So yeah, we don't want to do that. No, we uh we wanna we wanna keep this mug up. Yeah. So um, Sidescape says, other than cosplay and Twitch, what else catches your interests? Oh, um, for me, I um, I tend to do like painting, like practical art. I'll do like drawing and painting and that sort of thing. I mm-hmm. also am learning how to uh, I'm learning how to 3D model because I have a 3D printer. So I've been learning how mm-hmm. to craft my own uh my own props or just you know anything in general that uh i want to like create and see come into a physical shape Mm -hmm. but uh yeah so i like um i like playing with techie things it's it's one of my things that's awesome (coughs) excuse me excuse me Uh, Mm um i just lost everything oh no (laughs) that's not that mermaid says, don't block her pretty face. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think we've been going for a little over a half hour now, and that's usually about what we got, unless you have something that you want to just say, hey, listen, this is this is uh, more about me that you want to throw out there. Yeah, well, I mean, I, th- I thrive on interaction, so if yeah. anyone ever wants to just, like, reach out, you know where to find me. You can come join the Angel Raiders and find me in there and say hi. Or, yeah. uh, you know, I also run my own Discord channel as well. So if you guys want to join that, you can also send me a message on my uh, on my Twitch channel and I can send you an invite so you can hang out with me and my friends and, uh, yeah, we can get to know each other. Excellent, excellent. Well, it has been fun. A yeah, lot of fun. Been fun. I learned something today. <laughs> uh, how jokes can be terrible. And, <laughs> yep. And... Uh, my kids are going to not get it, but uh, they'll want me to Just tell wait, it all the time. Wait until they're teenagers, and then you'll get the eye roll. It's perfect. <sighs> yeah, so I tell the one, like, what's brown and sticky? A stick. A stick, <laughs> right? <laughs> that's, that's like, the go-to. Or uh, yeah. my Batman joke. Uh, what did Batman say to Robin before they got in the car? Ooh, what's that one? Robin, get in the car. That's <laughs> so, so dumb. <laughs> It's effective, though. Right? Like, the same thing I say to my kids. Get in the car. Yes. Um, And on that note, uh, yeah, so go check. uh, 
Aurelia Borealis out. And uh, we raided you today. That was fun. Yeah, that was fun. It was also much appreciated. I got, uh, what was it? I think about five or... I think it said I got about nine or ten new followers. So I really appreciate the support, you guys. Yeah, yeah. We had a really good day. Mondays, our member Mondays have been awesome recently. We've been getting They're a lot of good... They're always solid. I'm enjoying it. Drac G, thank you for the follow. Uh, we'll send some people over. I'm sure uh, I'll send some people over. I just, uh, If you want to put your Discord link in there one more time. In fact, if you want to put yours, if you have it, you can throw yours down in there so people can... Jump on there. That's what this is about. This is promoting, you know, who's ever on the podcast this week. So I can do that. Yeah. Uh, where is? So I'm gonna copy that. This is if you guys want to join my Discord server, full of my wacky friends on our wacky, maybe not so wacky adventures. But yeah, you can come and say hi to us. Awesome. And then Drac G right below with if you play Smash and you want to uh, jump on the Smash tourneys. Um, or just say hi there. You can do that there. Yeah. And uh, on that note, we're gonna we're not gonna do another raid. Here's what we're gonna do tonight. The Angel Raiders team leaders are going to do a Fortnite team leader, uh, just playground play. So I don't know what it's gonna look like, but uh, we're gonna go off for just a few minutes, and then we'll throw some stuff up in the Angel Raiders Discord, and. Uh, okay lost through my uh through my chair <laughs> <laughs> and we'll go from there so uh stick around hang out and we'll come back in a little while with uh some team leaders playing Fortnite. um just so you know i think there's one or two of us that are really good and the rest of us are total noobs and so it will be excellent to watch can i be a part of it pastor a plus uh, slapstick entertainment probably not tonight but uh maybe another time we're gonna jump in and so anyway it was good talking with you thanks we'll have you maybe have you come on again and maybe we can do like a, a multi-channel thing where we get a bunch of people yeah doing, thank uh, you so much for having me excellent yeah anytime anytime all right well angel raiders we'll catch you later all right bye